Okay. You try it out, see if the key lens is pointed in the right spot? Yep. Yeah. So what are we up to, cousin? Um, we have to install this little circuit, and I think I'm going to double stick tape it right here for now, um, that controls the that converts the signal coming from the control panel to a voltage which the spindle controller interprets for spindle speed. Um, do they make a case for that little circuit board? Or, or Well, if you had a 3D printer, you would make me one. Okay. What I am getting, it's on order from China, is you see these little gray things back here holding these boards on? This is called a DIN rail. This rail in the back is called a DIN rail and these gray pieces snap onto it and I have some coming that this will attach to those clips and it will clip on this rail. Okay, do But no, I made this so there's no package for it. I just got to keep from shorting it out against the, well the box is plastic so I don't have to worry about that I guess. But anyways, light a signal which is going to that blue line. As you can tell by all the shit here, I've been experimenting with this for quite a while. The Chinese instructions for this 2K spindle were a, a little lacking, is a very polite phrase. They absolutely sucked. The uh, relays here and here, this re <coughs> relay here is driving a 220 volt uh, pump that runs the coolant and this relay on the right is actually what tells the controller to go into forward mode and the relay on the left will eventually be used to trip a solenoid that will start um, uh, airflow or coolant at the spindle. It'll start with just air. I've got a relay that'll start compressed air through a, through a nozzle. And then all that's controllable through M and S codes through the, uh, through my horn. Oh, shit. Take pictures of the machine. There's no videos of the machine out there yet. Or the control panel. I shot the video of the control panel twice already and I didn't like it either time. Testing out our new goggles. Testing, testing. Yep, testing, testing, one, two, three. Added heat sinks. Yeah, that, uh, that axis was getting warm. Oh, I see the, uh, cabinet maker in you has come out this fancy dandy wooden that support what, what that is is that was my first real part I made on the machine and I took the drawings I have for the other parts and all the hole layouts and I drew I did the cad and the cam for that gusset and the wood ones were the first ones I tried out the whole thing was cut with a quarter inch spiral bit cutter including the holes, which are larger than a quarter inch. No, I'm sorry, it was cut with an eighth inch, eighth inch. And those were just the test pieces, so I'll run that program again in the aluminum that you saw on the other bed. But those are so tight and so perfect <laughs> that there's really no reason to put the aluminum on there. Now I know why guys build these entire machines out of wood, because if done right, they are very rigid. Well, being a metal guy, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, but dude, when you lay out all those holes and an eighth inch cutter cuts all of it and you take and set it up and the screws are all perfect, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, it means you've done good, awesome. you know, engineering it, designing it. You add, got all the dimensions right. Yep, you had everything right. Now you just got to do it out of proper material. Now, all those holes that was three pieces all coming together so all those holes were machined in the exact spot by hand 
and if he did not on prior videos explain this these three holes here are oopses where in the top of your spindle they're there for a reason just not the reason they were intended what for the reason is. and what kind of coolant are you running um actually i'm running a uh, diluted rv coolant okay so diluted RV coolant. Because I was a little concerned that it might dip down cold enough in here to start freezing. And uh, so it's about 60-40 uh, RV coolant. Which also then uh, doesn't get mucky and scummy and nasty. And I don't know why more guys don't do this. But it works great. It doesn't smell bad. Okay, we're ending our test. Was this at 1080p? This is at 1080p.